Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Confirmation Orientation Online for South Campus. Uh, my name is Ben Sullivan. I'm a pastoral intern here at Hope as well as the Director of Confirmation here at our South Campus. So we're so excited just to be running into this year with you and we want to partner with you in all that God has planned for us. There is a lot of new stuff coming up uh, for us as we're well aware. A lot of new challenges and a, a lot of new procedures and those things. Uh, but we want this uh, year to go as smoothly as possible. We've been praying for this year uh, since uh, early spring and uh, all through the summer. And so uh, we do pray that this year is a blessing. And I just want to bring us some information here today that hopefully is helpful as uh, sixth grade families coming into confirmation or any other new families coming in uh, feel more comfortable and that they understand uh, what we're trying to do here at confirmation. Uh, I was, uh, we, we're going to have summer castaway, one of our uh, summer trips last week. Uh, and uh, we, we didn't have it uh, because of all the changes. But last year when I went on the trip, I was just reminded of what it meant to be a middle school student. Uh, you would think that little, like middle school girls, they don't fart, right? Like they don't fart. That's something that we would never think, but they totally do. Like I didn't hear it, but their small group leaders were talking about it. And I was full, in a room full of like smelly boys too. And so it's not the world that we're always used to. And yet it's so unique. And we have such an opportunity to come into these uh, little lives and just uh, share the love of Jesus Christ. When we think about confirmation, it's this uh, progress that we get to have to affirm our baptism in ninth grade. Uh, when each of our students was born, uh, for many of them anyway, they were baptized as an infant, and they got that promise of uh, God's uh, you know, saving power in their life and his, his work in their life. And you know, they are to let their light so shine before others that they may see their good works and give glory to their Father in heaven. And after every time we meet in confirmation, we do our baptismal seal, which is essentially saying the same promise, that I am a child of God. I've been sealed by the Holy Spirit, marked with the cross of Christ forever, and I will let my light so shine before others. I'm going to own this baptismal promise that has been made over me as an infant. And this is such a time just to grow in our faith and to claim it for ourselves. And so uh, that's really what confirmation is. Uh, in, in terms of confirmation, I'm the director here at our South Campus, and Pastor Sarah Seibold, she is our pastor of confirmation. Uh, Terry Deer, she is our administrator. She does a lot of the behind-the-scenes work. And then uh, our, we have our coordinators, too, for each grade. The one that you're most likely going to get to know this year is Cody Portlock. She is going to be our sixth-grade coordinator. And so whether you're online or in person, uh, she'll be a, a really awesome person to get to know. Uh, so what we do at large group here at Confirmation is it's a time to really teach our students uh, our curriculum. We're going to have a list of all of our teaches on our website at fargohope.org slash middle school so you'll get a chance to see what it is that we're kind of teaching our students and feel free to ask questions as they come along as well uh, but in large group we'll have a teach uh, every so often we'll have worship uh, to get to, get to praise uh, Jesus with uh, songs. Uh, we're going to have a game sometimes. We'll have a time for giving. Our offering this year is going to be going towards the Great Plains Food Bank. And so whether if you're online, you can still send uh, you know, money into the church or text to give, and uh, we'll you know, make sure that uh, we can uh, get that to go uh, towards uh, Great Plains Food Bank as well. But if you're in person here, we'll be doing our offering and making sure that we're following procedures to keep everyone safe with that as well. And uh, in small group, uh, essentially, you're just going to be going, uh, diving deeper in a lesson. You're going to be making and building relationships with your other students, with your small group leader. Uh, and it's a, a lot of students, their favorite time of, and part about confirmation is this small group time. Uh, one thing we do want to say is if you're online for a small group, uh, we do ask that all of our students, uh, as well as the leader, uh, during the small group time, they have their audio on and they have their picture on as well, their uh, visual, so that everyone is clearly engaged in the small group. We don't want to have somebody with their audio and their video turned off so they're not engaged. Uh, we want them to be uh, fully invested uh, so that together we can grow. If you are in uh, large, or if you're coming to the church uh, for confirmation, we do ask that you come 15 minutes early. Uh, we're going to be talking about more policies and procedures here 
uh, in just a bit. But if you come a little early, then we'll have some time just to t check your temperature, uh, find your spot. Now you can see some of your friends as you social distance and wear a mask as well. And, uh, and we'll, we'll continue to get on your way as well. And uh, parents, if you come to confirmation, if you have a question or if there's uh, certain things you know that are on your mind, we do ask that you send those questions in prior to the confirmation hour. Once we start uh, having students come in, all of our coordinators and staff will be actually taking temperature, meeting with uh, leaders, so we won't probably have as um, many, as much time and resources as we have in years past to answer those questions. But please send them to middle school at fargohope.org and we'd be more than happy to get back to you with any of those questions too. Uh, we have uh, color coding for confirmation. Uh, it's uh, it's something that's kind of like building a fire when you see a flame you see uh, blue yellow orange and red the closer you get to the middle the more red it becomes and that's how we're actually color coding our grades and so you'll get to see what that means when you come in uh, blue is for sixth grade uh, yellow is seventh grade orange is eighth grade and red is ninth grade so when you come into the church uh, you'll see uh, little uh, pamphlets or little uh, pictures that have that color on there and it'll say large group or small group so you'll know uh, you know if you're coming in and you're in sixth grade student you'll see oh sixth grade is up on the wall that means we are in large group this week and so we'll have all of those details there for you as well and uh, to find out what small group you're going to be a part of, who your small group leader is, uh, we will be sending that for all of you online students, we'll be sending that information to you a few days prior to confirmation starting. And then if you're coming into the church to find that out, uh, we will have them uh, on the walls uh, so that you can socially distance, so that you can go and find uh, the week that you come in on September 13th, go and find your small group, uh, the students were, who are in your small group, your small group leader, as well as the location of your small group. So we'll have all of that ready for you. Uh, the question of what can we expect to be discussed throughout the year? Uh, we just want this to be a faith-filled hour where we talk about Jesus in the life of your student. Uh, we realize that, you know, for many students, this might be the only, you know, faith talk that really happens in a week. And so we, we have worked really hard just to uh, allow this to be a fun hour, a faith-filled hour where we, we dive into the Bible. We ask that your student brings a Bible or has a Bible at home that they can look at. And, uh, and we, we just talk about relevant things, how Jesus, you know, matters in this life and why we need him, why, you know, why he came and died on the cross, why he rose again, what that means for me. These are the things that we're going to be discussing throughout the year. Uh, especially for sixth grade, this is a year where we're really starting off the year uh, a little bit different than we have in years past. You know, a lot of our sixth graders are coming from Hope Kids, and uh, there's, you know, a lot of different ways of ministry being done in Hope Kids, and so we're, we're just talking about the essentials of the faith, you know, what it means to worship God and what that looks like, what it looks like to pray, you know, to see the Ten Commandments and what those mean for our life, or, you know, to look at the Bible. What is the Bible? You know, how do I read it? We're going to be looking at a lot of these basic principles of Christian faith and helping our, our sixth grade students and our new students to uh, understand what that means to be a follower of Jesus Christ in this age. And, uh, you know, we want this to be a really fun year. Uh, we have some expectations for our students to, uh, to hold to, to make this uh, the, the smoothest, the most fun, the best year that we ever can. Uh, we do ask that our students uh, regularly attend confirmation uh, whether that's online or in person, uh, we do ask that this is you know a regular week by week thing that that you come and that you're learning, that you're spending time with your group, that you're building relationships. That this is something you know in in scripture, uh, you know it. Uh, they, calls us in the book of Hebrews to not stop meeting together. We're to come together as the church and keep growing together. So uh, again, come to church. If you're online, turn your mic on, turn your video on so that we can see you and, and uh, engage in that way. Uh, bring your Bible. If you're coming to the church, uh, bring your Bible. If you're at home, make sure you have a Bible available during large group and small group time. Uh, we do ask that you do not have your cell phone out uh, during a confirmation hour. Uh, if, even if you're at home next to your computer, we ask that your cell phone is put away so that you can focus for that 45-minute period. Um, we uh, are going to have service projects 
uh, a little bit different uh, this year. A service project is a way to make our faith not just stay in the church, but we get out in our community and we serve those around us. And so a way that is going to be different this year is normally we have done two times a year, every grade, every student. Uh, but what we're doing this year is we're uh, going to not expect two times, but maybe we're going to try for at least one time for each student to have something that they do that they can serve. And we'll be communicating those details throughout the year, whether that's writing a letter to someone or, or serving in some way in the church. We'll, we'll let you know those details as the year goes on. And as far as fundraising for trips and, tri and retreats goes, uh, we're going to continue uh, just to let you know on a month-by-month -month basis what that will look like, you know, in terms of like mission trips, retreats, fundraising. Uh, we don't know, you know, what this fall will bring, what um, this spring will bring, but we'll, we'll give you those details as the year goes on. If you're a parent here with uh, me today, uh, we do uh, also, you know, we ask that you invest in your student's faith journey. You know, we thank you that you are, you know, here with us, whether you're a parent or a guardian. Uh, you know, you're here and you've got your student doing confirmation. That's a huge piece, you know, just to have them growing up in the church, learning about what it means to be a follower of Jesus Christ. So we want to thank you for that. And we want to help encourage you and equip you to help make this the best and most successful year for your student as as possible. Uh, it's a critical in like um, really building up the faith of the next generation. We do a curriculum called Orange, and Orange is a mixture of red and yellow. Red is the heart of the home, and yellow is the light of the church, and we're really uh, working to make those come together so that we can shine the light of Jesus in your student. Uh, we know that, uh, you know, meeting with uh, understanding or getting to know your small group leader is a critical role, especially for you as a parent. Uh, I encourage you, man, get to know your small group leader of your student. Uh, they're going to be spending a lot of time with your student talking about these faith details, and uh, we want to encourage you to get to know them uh, so that you can build that relationship as a family and grow in faith together. Uh, we want to encourage you to worship with your student, whether that's coming into the church on Wednesday or Sunday uh, for actual worship or whether it's online to take time uh, to worship with your student and, and uh, engage in that as well. Uh, as, in terms of communication, if you notice that there's... Uh, any questions you have, if you notice something is not quite working, whether uh, students are not getting along in your small group or whatever it may be, uh, please let us know. Uh, we want to know that right away so that uh, we can eliminate issues getting uh, worse and worse throughout the year. We want to help make this as fun of a year and as, as successful of a year for you and your family as possible. So if you have anything that's on your mind that you see is not really quite working, please let us know and we'll address that as soon as we can. Uh, as far as, uh, you know, continuing to uh, join your student in their faith journey, we want to ask you, you know, become a part, you know, join us for a large group talk every so often or a large group session. Just come sit in the back, you know, we're going to continue to social distance, uh, but come see what it's like. You know, we want to invite you. We know that, you know, a parent is the number one influencer in their child's life in terms of faith. And so we want you to be as much of a part of this process as uh, humanly possible. And if you're a parent and uh, you would uh, be like, to be a small group leader or you're wondering what that means to be a small group leader uh, please come and talk to me i'd love to talk to you more about that it's an incredible way just to uh, have influence in terms of uh, having you know increasing the faith of the next generation and it's such a way you don't have to be a bible scholar you don't have to know all these different things all you need to do is have a heart that cares for students and cares uh, for the youth of this next generation and wants to see and be a part of their faith journey as well. And so if that's something that interests you and that you would like to learn more about, please come and talk to me or email uh, middle school at fargohope.org and we'd be happy to get in contact with you as well. And lastly, if you are a small group leader already, thank you so much for this investment uh, that you have made uh, for uh, these students, for these families in terms of coming in every week and sharing your heart, sharing God's word with them every week. It's making a huge difference. As a small group leader, you're walking with them in terms of their faith journey. You're helping facilitate these faith conversations. Again, for many students, maybe this is the only time in church that they have every week. So this is a really critical hour that we get to have in, in in their lives and uh, we want to ask if you're a small group leader connect with the parents of the students in your group so that again you can really build that um, build that relationship and uh, if you're a small group leader we're going to be having trainings throughout the year both in person and online uh, so that together we can keep those connections strong and uh, keep our our 
uh, mental capacity or spiritual capacity up so that we're each taking care of our soul business and can, can continue moving forward confident on, in what God is calling us to do and uh, confident in who we are as a leader that God's calling us to be. Uh, we are going to be sending you uh, apparent uh, emails every so often, giving you information on on uh, what's happening here in confirmation, so be sure to look for those. Uh, social media, we're going to be putting out content on social media every week, and so uh, please feel free to look at our Facebook, our YouTube, our Instagram account. Uh, on YouTube, it's just Fargo Hope, and then you can look in the preferences uh, section, and then you can click on middle school, and then we'll have all of our teaches on there as well. And so uh, policies and procedures, this is uh, kind of towards the end here. If you have any other questions, it'll be on fargohope.org slash middle school. We'll have a list of our policies and procedures, uh, and it's an extensive list. Uh, you'll get to look down at all the different things. A few just key things. We ask that our students wear, and our leaders wear a face mask uh, when they are here. And if there's, you know, an issue with that, uh, you can come and talk to us and, and we'll, we'll, you know, talk about what that situation looks like. Uh, we're going to ask that you maintain social distancing. Uh, we're going to be taking temperature checks. If any student or leader's temperature is above 100.4, we're going to ask them to go home uh, as we want everyone to be healthy and safe in the church. And uh, we are not going to be having Hebrews Coffee Shop uh, this year as, you know, this is an opportunity for students to raise funds for trips. Uh, but as, you know, we're not having as many trips this year and we want to maintain social distancing and we want to have, you know, maintain these guidelines, we're not going to be doing that this year. Uh, another, you know, ex more extensive list on the policies and procedures will be on the website. And we will have an FAQ sheet on the website as well. It's frequently asked questions. So if you have questions that you have, uh, take a look at the FAQ sheet online. And uh, this will have hopefully the answer to your question. And if you, it doesn't answer your question, feel free to give us an email and we'll, we'll answer that for you. So uh, we're praying for you all. Uh, this is a lot of information. If it's overwhelming, you know, we're, we just want this to be a peace, a peaceful uh, part of your student's faith journey. And uh, we uh, want to walk with you as much as possible. Please feel free to reach out to us at all if you have any questions. And uh, God bless. We're praying for you. And we're excited for all that this year will bring.